team coverage rolling on this morning. Some in Virginia Beach waking up to destruction. All night long, our team has been responding to the tornado that made its way through the Great Neck area, damaging several homes. And right now, News Beat reporter Angela Bohan is live with us this morning. So I know you just got on scene a little while ago. It's getting lighter outside. Where are you and what are you able to see right now? Blaine and Aaron, I'm in the Broad Bay area at Queens Elm Place, and boy, are we seeing a lot of damage here. I've seen some neighbors walking around. I'm just going to show you what we are seeing here. First, take a look at this uprooted giant tree. There is so much damage in this area right now. Um, we're also seeing on the other side of the street sheared off trees. And of course, this neighborhood is just a beautiful area with mature trees. And look, you could probably see in this driveway, there's a car. It looks like it's trapped in here. Um, you know, it's just amazing that no one was hurt. But let's take a look over here. You can see more sheared off trees next to a little play set. And then in the driveway, that's the car we had seen last night crushed by a tree right in front of their house. We actually did see a gentleman here this morning asking about the road closures and that sort of thing. So again, thankful no one was injured, but lots of damage to clean up. You can see in their front yard here. Um, I saw another neighbor from up further back. He said that there's even more damage. So we're gonna be hopefully in the next hour going back there. This truck here, I believe, is with a tree service. I saw a few of those workers out here just basically assessing the damage. And um, so the sun is just coming up. We're seeing some neighbors go by jogging, walking. I'm sure with those school closures, with the John B. Dye, the Great Neck Middle and Cox High School being closed today, I imagine we'll see some of the kids out here trying to help with some of the damage or even help with their own neighbors and families. So. That's what we're seeing right now. We'll, of course, be sure to update you soon. Live in Virginia Beach, Angela Bohan, News 3. All right, Angela, thank you for that new perspective showing you that part of the damaged area. We'll get back to you in just a bit, Angela. But first, we want to hear from news reporter Penny Commit, who has been live on the other side of the destruction area. Penny, what can you tell us about the damage that you're seeing on your end? Well, here actually a lot of the damage has been cleared on Great Neck Road, but look at all the heavy machinery making its way in. I mean, we have tow trucks coming in. We've seen lots of tree services. So I think as people have started to wake up this morning, those repair people, the people that are coming in here to help those who have had their homes destroyed, finally making their way in. And you might also notice Great Neck Road here completely closed, as Jen mentioned. Even the people that are trying to help kind of have to go a roundabout way. So this is going to cause, I'm sure, a lot of traffic headaches this morning. But the good news is that those people who are waking up to destruction have some help on the way. You know, we have seen so much destruction. If you take a look at your screen, trees on homes, trees in the middle of the road. We know that firefighters and police officers working tirelessly to clear some of that initial damage. The city estimates about 50 to 100 homes were damaged in this tornado, but Shockingly and thankfully, no injuries have been reported. We also know that Virginia Natural Gas has responded to several homes that experienced gas leaks as a result of this tornado. So there's still a lot to come this morning. The city says they're going to have cleanup crews starting in just a few hours at 8. So as these cleanup efforts continue, as more people make their way inside, we'll be sure to update you on air and online at WTKR.com. We're live on Great Neck Road here in Virginia Beach. I'm Penny Commit, News 3.